Joe Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. I'm Mike Semper Vivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, it started with all the news from last night because there was a, a bunch of news. First off, as I predicted, although they did a little bit differently, the big announcement from William Regal last night was that the North American title is now vacant. Although they can't say vacant, it is now the abeyant North American title. <laughs> Bro. It's vacant. Anyway, so they didn't do it the way I expected, which was they announced that Regal had an announcement, and so I figured that Regal was going to say that the title was now vacant, which was going to make me really mad because it was his idea to merge them in the first place. But instead, Regal's announcement was Keith Lee has an announcement. And then Keith Lee claimed, I don't want to take away opportunities from anybody, so I will defend the NXT title but I am giving up the North American title. I just want to make sure that as many people as possible get an opportunity. Because AW and NXT are totally different. AW, you have to win matches to get your title matches. And in NXT, it's all about, well, everybody should get an opportunity. It doesn't matter how many matches you've won, how many matches you've lost. Keith Lee wants everybody to have an opportunity. So they're going to do a bunch of three-way matches. Because a three-way has an extra person in it. A whole bunch of three-way matches. All of the winners will go to the TakeOver weekend for a ladder match for the abeyant North American title. That's the big news coming out of, of NXT. The biggest story at AEW, actually, was Eddie Kingston being the surprise opponent for Cody. If you remember, John Moxley said he was super excited about this this secret person, and they teased that it was a big name independent star. We had we had made a bunch of guesses yesterday, and it turns out it was Eddie Kingston. Eddie comes out, and he just cut a fantastic promo before the match. He actually cut a better promo after the match, but you didn't see it unless you were on social media. It wasn't on television. Goes in there with Cody. They just had a great match. And in the end, Cody submitted him with a figure four in the middle of a bunch of thumbtacks, and he got the win. All I've been hearing all day is, has Eddie Kingston been signed? Has Eddie Kingston been signed? He's got to be signed. All I know is, as of last night, after the show, Eddie Kingston had not been signed. But the impression that I was given was that Eddie Kingston is going to be back and everybody is presuming that he is going to be signed. I hope it's sooner rather than later, because he's just the best. I don't know how I didn't predict Eddie Kingston. Although, I should note, somebody, one of our Twitch homies, on the chat yesterday, when the show went on the air, predicted it was going to be Eddie Kingston. And they were, in fact, right. So that was really the biggest thing anybody was talking about on the show last night. And I thought AEW was great. Thought NXT was fine, and we'll see what the ratings say later on this afternoon. Well, we actually really didn't even talk about it that much yesterday. We kind of mentioned it, but didn't really get into it because actually yesterday morning I was having a conversation with somebody about who it was going to be because realistically, even though Arn Anderson had invoked the name of Warhorse, the reality was is that most people were eyeballing Eddie Kingston or Chris Hero. And both of which would have fit nicely into all of the hype kind of leading into this. And my thing was, I obviously, uh, for those who have followed me for a long time, I am a unabashed fan of Eddie Kingston. So I think everybody should sign Eddie Kingston. But I also just believe that he is a he's a perfect signing for AEW in, in the land of characters that they have. You kind of need a real one, and Eddie Kingston is definitely a real one. And he's got a lot of miles. Uh, there's a lot of tread off of that tire in the wrestling ring. But as last night showed, he is still very, very good. And his promos are more than above average uh, when rated up against other people inside that company. And he is a different – he's just different. And he is a relatable character to a lot of fans out there that, you know, WWE – WWE will tell you uh, what they think you want to they what they want you to like. That's what they're going to tell you that you like. And AEW by signing Eddie Kingston, I mean, it's just another notch on their belt of here's a bunch of different things. You find something that you like. You find something to invest in. And 
As I said earlier on, I'm a big fan of Kingston. I thought the match was perfect how it went, right down to using a desperation bag of thumbtacks, and I'm not a thumbtack guy, but I thought using that in, in a desperate way, you know, uh, when you're hurt, when you're trying to get this job, and I thought everything was pulled off great. I thought it's one of been it really was one of Cody's best matches that I've seen him have, you know, especially post WWE. I thought it was outstanding and a red hot way to start that show. And I watch NXT afterwards and you know, they start off with Dexter Loomis and uh I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't think he and Killian Dane are going to be able to keep up with the pace of what's going on on the other channel, or, or I can't believe it kept eyeballs if people tuned, o- you know, turned over and watched what was happening on the other channel. So we'll have to see how the ratings play out. But man, they got AAW off to a hell of a start last night. All these messages here at the beginning of the show, all about Eddie Kingston. Tony Khan needs to hire Eddie Kingston ASAP. Hashtag sign Eddie Kingston was trending on Twitter all night yesterday. Person says, I had never seen or properly heard of Eddie Kingston before last night. Fifteen minutes later, I was absolutely blown away. I loved everything about him at his match with Cody. If AEW does not sign Eddie after last night, it would be a blunder. Person says, two minutes into dynamite, Eddie Kingston made himself into an absolute star. For a guy that's never been on national TV, it was one hell of an accomplishment. Well, he's been on Impact, so he's been on national television. But not WWE or, or AEW. 